I'm Bridget Shanahan. And I'm Vince Petrano. Results in for the spring election as voters decided a number of key races and issues in Wisconsin. For state Supreme Court, Justice Ann Walsh Bradley will keep her seat. She defeated a Rock County Circuit Judge James Daly, getting 58% of the vote. A change for the court, though, the most senior member of the Supreme Court will no longer automatically serve as Chief Justice. Voters decided that members of the High Court will now elect the Chief Justice. The amendment to the state constitution passed with 53 percent approval. Only about 20 percent of voters were expected to head to the polls. We don't have official numbers yet. This was the last election without the voter ID law. So next time you go to the polls, be prepared and bring your ID. We have more results scrolling online at TMJ4.com. Franklin police are looking for a man who motioned at three children trying to get them inside his van. Police say that man stopped the kids on Monday near South 42nd and Maplecrest. Those children did not respond and ran home. He's described as a white man in his 60s with no facial hair, driving a red Dodge van 2013 or possibly newer. Anyone with information should call Franklin police. Brewer star Gene Segura is going to be OK after getting hit in the head with a fastball. This happened yesterday during the fifth inning. Looks like oh ooh, tip of the helmet did get most of it. That saved him, but the ball did angle off and catch Segura on the nose. He eventually rubbed some dirt on it and shook it off and was able to still play the rest of the game. But that was scary for a little bit yesterday. The same cannot be said for Ryan Braun. Still don't know whether he's going to be in the lineup tonight after straining his right side on opening day. Braun, he missed the game yesterday. Brewers manager Ron Renneke saying that the results of the MRI were good, but that's all the team is saying right now. Tickets for the Rolling Stones go on sale today, but only for a select group. American Express holders can purchase pre-sale tickets starting at 10 a.m. on Friday. There is a pre-sale for those who follow Summerfest on social media as well. Everybody else will have to wait until Monday. Tickets range from $94 to more than $400. Well, we're starting to feel like spring here in southeastern Wisconsin. You had the snow showers up to the north, and even yesterday got a little bit of hail across parts of southeastern Wisconsin, especially around the Madison area, and even into portions of Dodge and Washington County. Uh, nothing severe. The largest hailstone in Wisconsin yesterday only had a about a half an inch of diameter. Otherwise, everywhere else, just generally about pea size, a quarter of an inch in diameter around the Jackson, Columbus, and Mayville area. Most of us just saw some decent rain showers, especially across the northern area, where we saw about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch of rain down around Milwaukee, about a quarter of an inch. There was that system that kind of swung on through. Again, the heaviest fell north of I-94. Much of us, though, looking at a dry afternoon, it's just going to be cloudy and gloomy. If you're headed out to the Brewers, game tailgating temps around 40 degrees. It is going to be cold and breezy. Those northeasterly winds persistent around 10 to 15. First pitch at 710, 40 degrees with another batch of rain showers moving on in. There's this warm front settled on down to the south. That's going to bring up a little bit of moisture as we go into the overnight hours. So another round of showers and a few thunderstorms. Nothing severe for us though. And as that warm front continues to sneak on up to the north overnight, showers and thunderstorms likely and that will continue throughout the day on Friday. If this warm front does push to our north, we are talking of the chance for some stronger thunderstorms before the cold front swings on through and uh, brings quieter conditions to the forecast. Today, the strongest two severe thunderstorms are going to be settled down to our south, where there is a slight risk for severe weather from Illinois down through portions of Oklahoma and into Texas. As we get into Thursday, though, that warm front again lifts through our area and will bring an enhanced risk for some stronger thunderstorms if that warm front does does pass on through and that's going to bring the temps back up into the 60s for us. Not today though. It is going to be certainly too cold for that. Any shower pretty much coming to an end. 42 degrees, fog, clouds, and certainly that breeze, but the winds will be calming down as we go into the overnight hours. Again, that warm front will bring a chance for showers and thunderstorms to redevelop. 38 degrees for your overnight low. Nothing severe tonight, but the chance for that returns as we go throughout the afternoon on Thursday with a high of 60 degrees. Showers and thunderstorms likely, especially in the afternoon and evening hours. Any rain chances come to an end on Friday morning, then skies will be clear. Clearing, quieter conditions are expected as we head into the weekend, but certainly Thursday is going to be the day to watch with that warm front. Getting into your weekend, though, it is going to be pretty fantastic. Temperatures are going to be seasonably mild, 55 degrees on Saturday and Sunday, 58 degrees with dry conditions and mostly sunny skies to partly cloudy skies all weekend long. Have a great day.